Today's tutorial will talk about how to find your time ticket and view any active holds in the self-service registration portal. To get started, you will want to go to dsu.edu. Then you will click on these three lines and then My DSU. Then you will be directed to the login page. This login is the same as your DSU email, your username is your full email address, and your password is your email password. Then you will click on Login to My DSU Portal, the DSU logo, and Self-Service Registration. Now that you're here, you might need to click on this little yellow box to engage the system. That might include refreshing your login information. To find your time ticket, you will click on Prepare for Registration. Then, you will always select the term in which you are planning to register for. This will give you the most accurate time ticket and hold information. This page will give you the information you need to know what date your registration window opens, as well as if you have any active holds or restrictions. So, the term should list the term you are planning to register. Your status will say that you are permitted to register or not permitted. And it will either say you have no holds or you have active holds. If you have an active hold, you will want to contact the office that the hold is from. So for example, if you have a hold from the cashier's office, this means that you may have a bill that must be addressed before you can register. You can call them or go to their office located in Heston Hall. If it said that you had a transcript hold, this means that you have a transcript that we do not have. You can contact the admissions office or go to Heston Hall to their office to resolve this hold as well. And then your time ticket is listed. Your time ticket is specific to you. It will give you your specific date and time that you are allowed to register. You cannot register until this date and time occurs. You can, however, use the planning feature to set up the classes in which you'd like to register in the self-service. Now that you know how to find your time ticket, if you have any questions, contact your advisor and they will be able to assist you or you can contact the Registrar Office for concerns you may have with your time ticket date or holds. Also remember, you must meet with your advisor before your registration date so that you can register. It is recommended that you schedule a meeting at least three days prior to your time ticket registration date to allow for planning.